Effect of the Vietnam War on the Cold War by Max Robles and Family Introductions My name is Max Robles and I'll be playing Mr. Kennedy. I am Grace Robles and I will be playing Mr. Speaker. I'm Sophia Robles and I'll be playing Mr. Official. <clears throat> My name is Alfredo Robles and I'll be playing Mr. Khrushchev. My name is Isabella Robles. My name is Ana Lucia Robles. And we set the stage. Begin of film. Welcome to this unprecedented meeting between the two major world military and economic powers. Today we'll be witnessing a historical meeting between the President of the United States, John F. Kennedy, and the leader of the Soviet Union, Nikita S. Khrushchev. We will send off we will send this off to the officiator who will start the ice breaking process between the two leaders to help lighten the mood, set the background, and keep the overall atmosphere light and yet serious and on topic. Mr. Officiator. Thanks, Grace. All right, Mr. Kennedy and Mr. Khrushchev, we will start with the shaking of hands and then move on to the coin toss to decide who will have the opening statement after I give the background information. Since most of the world is free and Russia is not, <coughs> Russia will be the visitor and call which side of the coin you want. Gentlemen, shake hands. Good luck. Good luck. Tails. And it was tails. Mr. Khrushchev, you may start after I give the background and information and main question. Excellent. Fantastic. Okay. I will now tell both of you, both the background information. Currently, there is a war going on in Vietnam that is viewed by most to be a battle between democracy and communism. In addition to the war in Vietnam, can be viewed as a proxy war between the United States and the Soviet Union. This war in Vietnam is believed by many to have a negative impact on your relationship with each other, and how that relationship will impact the Cold War around the world. Would both of you elaborate on starting with Mr. Khrushchev? Thank you. From the perspective of the Soviet Union, the Vietnam War is in some regards a proxy war between Soviet Union and the United States. The Vietnam War is also representing how the spread of communism is beneficial to the region as well as the whole world. Mr. Kennedy, what is your response? Thank you, Mr. Official. Respectfully, Mr. Khrushchev, I'll have to disagree with part of your statement. Despite your beliefs, it has been proven by decades of success and prosperity that democracy <coughs> is the favorable form of government when compared to communism. Communism, on the other hand, has been proven to be hurtful to both the people and the overall country. Examples of this are spread throughout history in the past few decades and can be easily found. On the contrary, communism has been the perfect form of government by millions of people since the dawn of time. Communism is perfect because under its rule, everybody is even and there is no unfairness. People are happy and prosperous and there is peace. The USSR is a prime example as well as China and soon to be Vietnam. With the upcoming victory, we will show the world how obsolete democracy in the world is today. Well, that is absolutely wrong. Democracy is fair because if people elect a leader that they believe is best fit to serve them. Communism, on the other hand, is the government controlling people and everything in their daily lives. Democracy, on the other hand, is thriving in today's world. We are doing far better economically. In addition, our citizens actually enjoy us and have the courage to speak up against us if they believe we are doing wrong. Communism, more specifically the USSR, oppressed their people and forced them to work long, relentless hours with little pay. Yeah, that's preposterous. Absolutely. A nonsense. No such thing has ever taken place in Russia since the fall of the Tsars. Communism is a fantastic form of government that is beloved by all who live under it. Well, then let's ask your citizens then. Fine, then do it. They love us. Gentlemen, we are getting off topic. We are to discuss the effect the Vietnam War has on the Cold War, not which government form of, is better. Well, in my opinion, I now believe that Vietnam War will worsen our relationship because of the way Mr. Khrushchev is behaving. Let's see if you're acting any better. Enough, Mr. Khrushchev. What is your opinion on how the Vietnam War affecting the Cold War and the relationship with, <clears throat> between the two world powers? For once, I can agree with Mr. Kennedy in that the Vietnam War has a negative effect on Cold War and our relationship with the United States. The Soviet Union, China, and more specifically communism will continue to prosper and show the world that we are the superior form of government. 
Well, it appears that the United States and Soviet Union will continue to compete for the title of military world power. So to sum up both of your answers, the Vietnam War has a negative, negative effect on the Cold War, as well as the relationship between the two world powers, the United States and the Soviet Union. So gentlemen, my next question is how does this relationship between the two world powers, the United States and the Soviet Union, will affect the world as a whole? Mr. Kennedy, we will start with you because Mr. Khrushchev began with the first question. Thank you, Mr. Official. In my opinion, I believe that a relationship with the USSR will affect the world in a negative manner in the long run. With the choosing of sides, there will continue to be conflict between the United States and the USSR. With each day that the Vietnam War and the Cold War drag on, the threat of an all-out war that would most likely include a nuclear exchange increases. Mr. Khrushchev, what is your response? Admittedly, I will have to agree with Mr. Kennedy. I agree with what was said, and I would also like to add that with the threat of war, the whole world would most likely experience the consequences of such war. war. So gentlemen, now that we know the Vietnam War affects the Cold War as well as how it does, how it does and can affect the world, what is your takeaway mm -hmm. from the starting with Mr. Khrushchev? Well, my takeaway from this experience is that war between our countries should at all costs be avoided and prevent catastrophe. But in our eyes, we see the United States as an aggressor in the region of Vietnam, and we will continue to support North Vietnam to help prevent the continuation of said aggression. Mr. Kennedy? I'll have to disagree with Mr. Khrushchev. The United States believes everything that Mr. Khrushchev just said but about the Soviet Union. The United States will continue to support the democratic Vietnam and do everything to avoid direct war with the Soviet Union to avoid a global catastrophe. I agree. Excellent. I'm glad the two of you were able to come to an understanding. Mr. Speaker? Go. Thank you, Mr. Official. All right, folks. That will conclude our first ever meeting between the leaders of the two biggest world powers, Mr. Kennedy and Mr. Khrushchev. Stay tuned for, a, for the after interviews with both leaders and hear what they thought about the debate. After interviews. Welcome again to our unprecedented meeting between the leader of the United States and the leader of the Soviet Union. We will begin this interview with Mr. Kennedy and we will learn of his thoughts of the debate. Mr. Kennedy, what were your thoughts on today's unprecedented debate? Personally, I thought the debate accomplished a lot. As a world, we were able to identify what each side of a conflict believes as well as what they hope to accomplish. I am relieved to hear that the USSR hopes to not engage in nuclear warfare with the United States. Excellent. Thank you, Mr. Kennedy. Now we will move over to Mr. Khrushchev. Mr. Khrushchev, what was your opinion on how the debate went? Well, thank you, my, uh, Mr. Official. My opinion on the debate today is that it went very well. The USSR was able to hear what our rivals believe and hope to achieve. We will take this new information into consideration, unlike the United States attempt to avoid nuclear conflict with them. Thank you, Mr. Khrushchev. Mr. Speaker, you may now take the vote. Thank you, Mr. Official. Well, folks, that'll wrap up today's debate. Thank you for watching and hope to see you soon. End of film. Thanks for watching. Cast, JFK, Max Robles, Khrushchev, Alfredo Robles, Official, Sofia Robles, Speaker, Grace Robles. Special thanks to Isabella Robles and Ana Lucia Robles. And Jesus.